It's time now to take a look at what's been happening in the world of sports. Joining us in the studio is our sports editor, Polly. Hi, Paul. Hello. Let's first begin with the Table Tennis World Championship that wrapped up in Busan over the weekend. Yes, the men's team, South Korea's men's team, won the bronze medal uh, after they lost to China on Saturday in the semi-finals. But they came ever so close to going through. They lost narrowly 3-2 in a best of five. Korea won the first game. Uh, Zhang Ujin beat Wang Chuchin 3-1. But then China responded. Fang Zhendong beat Im Jong-hun 3-0. Korea then went 2-1 up with Yi Sang-su beating Ma Long 3-2. But well, parity was restored when Fan beat Zhang 3-0. Then for the victory, that was sealed when the Chinese player Huang beat him 3-0. They went on to win the tournament outright as well. The Chinese beating France 3-0 in Sunday's final. In the women's game, China were also the victors. They beat Japan 3-2. But impressed with how the event went overall, the head of the Korea Table Tennis Association, Yu Sung Min, said he wants to bring the individual tournament to Korea at the earliest date possible. Moving on to football, uh, South Korea's women's team had a friendly over the weekend. How did they get on? Well, they won. They beat uh, Czech Republic 2-1 on Saturday in Portugal. Ji Soyeon opened the scoring just 16 minutes in, converting a free kick from way out. Casey Fair then made it 2-0 early in the second half. Eva Bartonova halved the deficit for the Czechs, but Korea saw the game out to earn their first win of 2024. It was an experienced lineup named by manager Colin Bell. For G, it was her 155th cap, while Jang Sulgi earned her 100th. The match was seen as part of preparations for the 2026 AFC Asian Cup as Korea haven't qualified for the Olympics in Paris this year. And sticking with the national teams, uh, the men's team might have a temporary head coach in charge for the World Cup qualifiers in March. Yes, that's what Yonhap News has been reporting uh, over the weekend. But initially, the KFA didn't want to go down this route. But with the new K-League season just around the corner, the KFA faced something of a backlash for hinting at appointing a current manager from Korea's domestic league. It was argued that this showed a lack of respect for the K-League and its clubs. But a source told Yonhap that uh, a KFA meeting, the committee chairman Chang Hae-sung, had a change of heart after the, they met again on Saturday. Korea faced Thailand twice, first on March 21st and then on March 26th. So there isn't enough time to appoint a new full-time manager. It was announced today also that they, a third meeting will be held tomorrow at 2 p.m. with a briefing at 4 about who will be placed in charge. And you mentioned the Key League. The new season begins this Friday. It does indeed, yes. Uh, on Friday, a national holiday in Korea. We have what has become... Well, when possible, the usual curtain raiser of the reigning league champions taking on last season's FA Cup winners. That means that Ulsan HD in the East Coast derby take on Pohang Steelers at 2 p.m. Korea time. John Book, after a lackluster season in 2023, are at home to Daejeon Hana Citizen later in the day. While FC Seoul, they are under a new manager, Kim Ki-dong. They are away to Gwangju FC on Saturday. But fans might need to temper their expectations with regards to Jesse Lingard, as sources have said that fitness and registration issues mean it's a battle against time. Elsewhere, Gangwon FC hosts JG United on Saturday. Intrang United also, they take on Suwon FC. And then on Sunday, Daegu FC are at home to newly promoted Gimchon Sangmu. Okay, thanks, Paul. See you next time. Thank you. See you.